Okay, so this is our big survival kit I put together um, with some of my own stuff. Um, it's big enough that we put that we're putting it in uh, an actual rucksack. Um, brand new, hasn't been used. Comes with a sleeping bag holder, but we'll probably stuff that with the MREs or some other stuff. Um, you got your water, your gloves, your sanitizer, your dog treats, food bars, your MREs, a bunch of extra stuff from MREs so that you can have, you know, several cups of coffee. Um, there's some tea. There's these mesh bags for you to put some of your own stuff in or as you're going. Um, we got a gas mask, one of the Swedish ones. It has a new filter that hasn't been opened. The instructions, they're in Swedish, but you can tell by looking at the pictures what you got to do. comes with the stuff to clean it and a bag. We have a monocular there. It goes up to a thousand yards. And we got a heavy duty aluminum flashlight that's for self defense also. It's a really super bright LED. Comes with the C batteries to run it. We got light sticks, emergency tent, emergency radio with the flashlight. Um, it's a crank, so you don't have to have batteries. It's got five LEDs and the radio. Studios at WGBH in Boston. Nice and loud. Um, can't have a survival kit without a radio. You have your multi whistle here with a temperature gauge, compass, flashlight, and it also comes apart, has a magnifying glass in here, and you can also store a few things inside there like pills or whatever. You got your candles, multi tool, your uh, water tablets, your Esbit stove, 100,000 uh, volt stun gun, and your survival knife, which is packed full of good stuff. Your snare uh, has Morris code on here. You know, for mercy, if you gotta use Morris code, you got your knife sharpener, snake bite kit, uh, your magnesium fire starter, your hobo knife, a couple other knives for cleaning fish or whatever, your sharpener, a couple tin cans, first aid kit, everything you need. You got your crowbar, your 550 cord. Can't beat it. Check out the details up above.